Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a really quick soft glam look um, using as little bit of makeup as possible. And I am starting by filling in my brows. My brows are already um, kind of full. Um, and they have a little bit of shape to them, but I'm just gonna use a little brow powder. Um, I believe the brow powder I am using is by e.l.f. And I'm just gonna take my brush and fill them in really quickly. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I started recording this video and um, I was not gonna do a voiceover, but um, I had my family uh, in the living room and they were talking and it was really loud. So I was like, okay, um, just to shorten this video. Uh, so for time's sake and uh, due to the fact that I had a lot of background noise, I decided to uh, speed it up and just do a voiceover. Um, but that was not my original plan. So I am still filling in my brows and I know I, uh, I have another video um, that I do my brows on camera, but I do try and do them uh, before um, I record because it just saves time. But I, I knew this was going to be like a really quick um, look with um, not much makeup. So as you'll see, I, I'm not going to use a whole lot of makeup in this video. So right here... Um, to clean my brows up, I'm actually using my Maybelline foundation. Um, I do normally use concealer, but I did want this to be um, just a really soft glam look. And um, I want it to be something quick and simple. And um, I, I do love using concealer when I clean my brows up because it just looks really good to me. Um, but I also like uh, using the um, foundation sometimes uh, just because it's easier. So I'm just going to clean my brows up. And I didn't realize I was um, off camera uh, on that part right there. I was, I try and uh, look in a mirror that's closest to the camera, but sometimes it's easier to look down at the mirror that's in my hand. So I apologize for not being all the way in the camera in this part. All right, so I am also not gonna be using um, concealer in this video at all. So I am uh, just using the Maybelline uh, 24 Hour Superstay foundation, same foundation I use to uh, clean my brows up. And I just put that um, under my eye. I started out um, putting it in the areas that I would normally put concealer um, just because it was really hot outside today and I did not want to um, use just I, I just didn't feel like wearing a lot of foundation or a lot of makeup period especially concealer because I mean don't get me wrong I love concealer but it's thick and it, it it's heavy sometimes so I'm just gonna blend that in with my uh, damp real technique sponge and like I said I started off uh, just putting it in one area of my face and then I decided uh, I didn't like the way it looked because it 
kind of looked uneven. So I ended up adding um, more, still not a lot, but I added it to the rest of my face. And um, then I take the Fit Me foundation um, in the three in the color 380. Sorry. And um, I apply that to the outside of my face because um, the 24 hour, the Maybelline 24 hour Super Stay Foundation, I got that in the color 362 Truffle. And um, it's just a little light for my skin. So right here, I am actually using the uh, Maybelline setting powder or mineral powder um, to set the... Um, under eye area and also to highlight uh, because this powder not only uh, highlights but it just like anything under my eye area or uh, my eyelid area whenever wherever I put this uh, mineral powder I know the makeup is not moving so I just use that to um, like I said set the under eye area even though I did not use concealer I did put makeup there so I did still want to set that area but I don't like to use too much because that powder gives me a whole lot of flashback so I try not to use too much of that powder especially if I don't have to so I just take my fluffy brush and try and blend it in and brush it out. Um, I did notice that um, there were some uh, powder or some spots that weren't there. And of course, I blend that out later. Um, so after I do that, I am just going to start applying my eyeshadow. I am using my uh, crayon case palette. Um, and I'm actually going to use the color brown for my transition color. It looks like a, um, I like the brown color. It kind of reminds me of like a little reddish undertone. And I don't know if that's just because of the um, mineral powder that I used first that was mixed with it. I don't, I don't know, but um, I like the color. So, and it's close to my skin tone. So I use that as a transition color. And then... Um, let's see. Yeah, for the uh, lower part of my eyes, I use the um, deep plum color also in the uh, the box of crayons palette. I'm not sure what I said the first time. But yeah, in the box of crayon palette. And I try and um, concentrate it on the outer part of the eyelid first just to make it a little darker um on the outer part but yeah i actually only use um two colors for my eyes and like i said i used the brown as like a transition color and then i used the deep plum color uh for the bottom and there was a little fallout um with that deep plum color so i'm just gonna wipe it off and then i am going to take the light blue color to highlight under my brow bone and I wasn't sure about this color combination. Um, as you can see, I was wearing blue, so I did want to uh, try that. Um, it's actually the baby blue, and it's a shimmer color. And I like it. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's a pretty color. I just don't know if it actually went well with the deep plum um, color that I was wearing, but I didn't want to like wear anything too heavy or, you know, anything that stood out too much. Um, and that's why I went for the deep plum and, uh, the brown as my transition color. Cause I just wanted something light and fun and just, you know, very simple, which is, uh, what I was going for. So, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just putting that in the inner corner of my eyes. And um, just trying to concentrate it in that area. And then I'm just trying to smooth it out, make sure it's even under my eye. Um, like I said, I wasn't too sure about that color, but I just went with it. And 
and then I'm taking that brown again just uh, blending it in because I um, wanted to uh, make sure it was even I think I used a little too much blue or too much baby blue on uh, one side so I just kind of wanted to even it out yeah, what am I doing next? So I take the black eyeliner pencil um, from the crayon case and I just line uh, my waterline. I do like the colored pencils that I got. Now, I did get a liquid eyeliner from them and um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to like, I mean, because I know I didn't pay much for it, but um, I did a, I did a um, unboxing video or... Um, just um, a video on the first packages I got from the crayon case and um, I opened it on camera and it just uh, it, I don't know something was wrong with the cap it doesn't open right every time I open it it gets all over my hands and um, the eyeliner itself like it you know it wor works really well but it gets all over my hands every time I open it and it's it's just a mess and I have another liquid eyeliner that I use from elf um, that I really like but I I honestly I like the crayon case liquid eyeliner a little better because it dries really fast um, but it just yeah it it's messy so um, I think I I uh, did my eye um, eyelashes off camera and now I am using the dark brown color to line my lips and um, I am using a nude color lipstick um, I know this lipstick is I believe by wet and wild and then I'm just using the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter to um highlight my highlight sorry my cheekbones the bridge of my nose tip of my nose and then of course my forehead my cupid's bow and then i think i use what's left uh for my chin area and just try and blend that in uh, and then i'm just lining my lips again the color was a little light and I am always searching for my perfect nude and I like this color um, with a little brown it, I mean it gives it a nice color um, it's definitely not my perfect nude but I like it so yeah I believe this look is just about complete I am going to fix my or no I'm sorry I am adding mascara um because I don't believe I added it before I put my lashes on you know it's been a little backwards in this video um but yeah I'm just adding uh mascara to my lower lash line and um trying to clean that up a little bit and then I'm just blending everything in or going over it with my beauty blender to make sure it looks all blended and I don't have like spots and stuff on my face and yeah this is my finished look look sorry <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed please like this video and uh, give it a thumbs up or like it and subscribe <laughs> I can't talk today thank you guys so much for watching